Hello all, welcome to another video on Python for class 11 playlist. My name is Ratna Kishore. In this video, I will cover the concept of list comprehension in Python, which is one of the important concepts in Python. Let's start the topic. List comprehension. The main aim of the list comprehension is to get a new list from an existing iterable. Then how you can get a new list from the existing iterable? We can get a new list from an existing iterable by performing some operation on each element in the iterable. And also list comprehension can get a new list from an existing iterable by filtering some of the elements present in that iterable object. In these two ways, we can get a new list from the existing iterable with the help of list comprehension. See the format of the list comprehension. Since we are getting a new list, entire statement must be there in square brackets. See, this entire statement is present in the square brackets. And then this statement begins with expression. And then we need to use a keyword for. After that, you must have a variable. And then we need to use a keyword in. After that, we need to mention the iterable and then we can use an optional keyword if with a condition. This is the entire format of the list comprehension, which will generate a new list that we can get into a variable. Now we see some examples. In the example one, we have a problem statement in that we have a list with a name old list with elements 1, 4, 3 in it. And then we need to get a new list by using the list comprehension by implementing an expression y is equal to x square plus 2 where x is nothing but each element in the old list then we have to get a new list with elements generated by this expression using elements present in this old list for this we can use a list comprehension like this here i am using a variable new underscore list and then i am using a list comprehension since the list comprehension must be there in square brackets i have mentioned the square brackets here in the square brackets, the first I have used an expression and then I am using a keyword for because here I have implemented this expression by using the x then the variable should be the same x I have to use here and then the keyword in and then my iterable is old list. Then I am showing what this list comprehension will do to get a new list. See this is my old list content 1, 4, 3 are the elements present in that old list. And then the expression here we are using is x square plus 2. Then for each element this expression will be computed. Then x will take 1 first. Then 1 square plus 2 you will get 3. That is the first element in the new list. After that 4 is the value of x. Then 4 square plus 2. 18. That is the second element present in that new list. And then 3. Then 3 square plus 2. 9 plus 2. 11 you will get. That is the third element you will get in the new list. So in this way, we can get a new list from the old list with an expression x square plus 2. We will see this practically now. Now I am taking a list, old underscore list with elements 1, 4, 3. And then I am using the list comprehension to get the new list. New underscore list is equal to, in square brackets, I need to mention the expression first. Expression is x square plus 2, then x exponentiation operator 2 plus 2 and then for keyword we have to use since the expression is having the variable x I need to mention x as a variable in and then the iterable here is old list then I need to use closed square bracket then I am displaying the new list then I got 3 10 11 as the values in the new list now I am considering the second example where we need to get a list from a tuple where the tuple my tuple is having the values 1, 4, 3, 2. Now I need to get only even values from this tuple to newly created list. For that I am using the list comprehension in this way. Here I am using the my list as uh, the target variable. Then I am using the list comprehension with the square brackets. Here I am using the expression with only the variable x. That expression itself is having only x, nothing else. 
and then the keyword for after that the variable x and then I am using the keyword in and then I am mentioning the iterable here tuple this time tuple I am using as iterable here we need to get only even values not all the values that means here it is the example for the filtering since I am using the filtering concept here with if keyword I need to mention the condition since I need to get only even numbers the condition is x modulo 2 is equal to 0 for even numbers this condition returns true in those cases only you will get the values from the my tuple to my list I will show the result of this statement here here the input tuple is having 1432 and then the condition is x modulo 2 is equal to 0 if you consider 1 then x modulo 2 will not give you a 0 then the condition is failing with 1 as the value of x then that will not be included in the resultant list coming to the next one 4 is the value here in the tuple then 4 modulo 2 gives us 0 the remainder is 0 in this division then automatically the 4 will be included in the resultant list coming to 3 3 modulo 2 will not get 0 as the reminder then that will not be included in the list then the last value in the tuple is 2 so 2 modulo 2 reminder 0 the condition is satisfied then that will be included in the resultant list then finally the list is having only even numbers present in that my tuple so in this way we can use the list comprehension for the purpose of filtering to show the result practically I am taking a tuple my tuple with elements 1 4 3 2 and then I am using the list comprehension to get a new list with only even numbers present in that my tuple then I am using the variable to hold that list as my list then the list comprehension I am implementing here the expression is nothing but the variable itself here I am not performing any operation except filtering then the keyword for variable x in the trouble my tuple since it is having filtering then I need to use a keyword if and the condition the condition is x modulo 2 equal to 0 then I am closing the list comprehension then I got my list here and then I am displaying that then I got only 4 and 2 in the resultant list Let us consider the last example where we need to get a new list with squares of all the odd numbers present from a range 1 to 10. So first we need to get a range of numbers from 1 to 10. From that 1 to 10 numbers we need to extract only odd numbers. After extracting the odd numbers we have to find out the squares of them and those squares must be present in the list. So here in this example we need the expression as well as the condition in the list comprehension. Here I am using the variable odd underscore squares to hold the resultant list. Since it is the list comprehension square brackets I have used. And then first I am using the expression i square here I am using i as a variable. Since I need the squares I am implementing the expression as i square i exponentiation operator 2 and then the keyword for here the variable is i and then other keyword in here to get the range of numbers from 1 to 10 I am using the range function since I have to start the sequence from 1 the start value is 1 here I am using end value as 11 because end value in the range function is always exclusive in that sequence then in order to get 10 as the last value in that sequence I need to mention 11 as the end value in the range function here I am using the default step 1 so automatically this range function will generate the sequence of numbers from 1 to 10 and then I am using a condition with if keyword i modulo 2 is equal to 1 if this condition is satisfying means that number is an odd number see what will happen because of this list comprehension since I have used the range function it will generate a sequence of numbers from 1 to 10 and then the first action is filtering that will be performed based on this condition since I am using i modulo 2 is equal to 1, only odd numbers I will get after this filtering. So, after the filtering I will get the values 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. And then I have the expression i square. Now the expression will be evaluated to all the values present here. Then 1 square you will get 1, 
3 square you will get 9, 3 square you will get 9, 5 square 25, 7 square 49 and 9 square 81 you will get. So finally this is the new list we will get which is nothing but the list of squares of all the odd numbers present in the range from 1 to 10. Now I am implementing the list comprehension to get odd underscore squares list. In square brackets first I need to mention the expression. Here we need the expression i square and then the keyword for i is the variable I am using here. In is the keyword next I need to use. Here in the place of iterable I am using a range object generated by the range function a range of 1 comma 11 then this range function generates a range object with sequence of integers from 1 to 10 here we need only odd numbers then we need to use a keyword if with a condition i modulo 2 is equal to 1 then I got a list odd underscore squares and then I am displaying it then I got 1, 9, 25, 49 and 81 as the values in odd squares list. So that's all guys. In this way we can use the list comprehension to get a new list from any existing iterable. Guys we can do the same thing by using the for loop or while loop. But using the list comprehension to get a new list is the efficient way of doing in Python.